How's it going, guys and girls? Hopefully, you're all very much enjoying my SimCity Let's Play. Although, with this episode, we are going to be doing something a little bit different. If you've been following the SimCity news and the whole saga around it, the internal code has been leaked, and there's a lots and lots of smart people, much smarter than me, that know Java, I think, is the main scripting language that EA and Maxis have used. But uh, they've been changing around the game codes and uh, just really basic things at the moment. There's a mod that you can get. Uh, cheetah speed back and running so that seems pretty cool but with all of these little changes and mods to the game you can of course get banned but i've taken the risk i don't think anything will really happen i mean ocean quigley has been tweeting out that uh, well he sort of is encouraging people to mod the game themselves but i've created my own little world called yolo swag and it is a sandbox mode and let's go choose a new region such as yeah let's choose over here whatever it is Mesquite, new city. Let's just go ahead and claim that. It's all private, so we shouldn't be getting any unexpected friends. And it should really be 500 or a million dollars that we're getting up front. But the reason we're playing this is because I've managed to get some debug code unlocked. I'll put the download link below to uh, be able to play it as well. If you guys would so dare. Well, I don't really think there's going to be anything too bad that can happen to you i mean i don't think ea's or origin or maxis are going to go around banning people that are modding the game although you never know but it's worth taking the risk <laughs> so there's a lot of different features which are pretty cool wow this is a nice little map as well uh but if we go over and press escape and then we can press S expose debug ui that gives us this little pane on the right it is, of course, very buggy as people just keep on finding out all of these little add-ons that they can keep on uh, making the game better and just unlock more code, etc. Then everything will be much more functional. Firstly, let's just start off our city because we've got a million dollars with sandbox mode. Let's just create a nice little bridge. Okay, there we go. And you know what? Let's set everything up perfectly or as perfect as we can. So stretch the road up like that. Just place whatever get some good quality water flowing in here well wow. that's definitely a big water table and of course we'll need a bit of sewage might as well get the best things here let's get a couple of people now i'm not sure if you guys have been reading uh, all the other stuff i've been reading a lot on reddit and on reddit there's a lot of good information going about the game just select this area all commercial and then just this industry uh, but you actually don't need any commercial or indu industry in your whole region or city at all. You can build a massive 1 million people population size city with absolutely no commercial or um, indus industry or industrial businesses around at all. And the people will also come out and say that uh, there's lots of place to do business around. <laughs> which is quite amusing because you can just build a city with lots and lots of residential people. Which doesn't really make all too much sense but whatever so i've got this thriving and growing i haven't been able to find or find the cheetah speeds unlock i haven't been able to find that i've been looking for it the whole day but i don't know the links to it must have disappeared i'm not sure where they are but anyway i'll put this of course in the download link or description below now if we go over here we have whatever this is can we highlight this and it'll tell us what it is no some construction tab it's not really showing us too much obviously this is just a debug mode then we go into this cheat mode and of course now because we are playing in sandbox mode everything's unlocked if you just do this in regular mode I'm not sure what the requirements are to unlock it because it doesn't really show us but so here we go with the public works the public works allows you to repair abandoned buildings clear rubble and build more houses so this seems pretty good so you don't need to demolish those abandoned buildings, which lots of people seem to think we have to. So I guess the consensus is that you do have to demolish them. There's the public works just around here. So this is like a hidden feature of the game. I'm not really sure what it does. The graphics still need a bit of updating as well. But I guess when there's abandoned houses, someone comes out of around here. So we've got a government works road repair. From what I've noticed is that there are no road repairs that are necessary. Of course, this is free, which is all very well. So roads don't seem to, well, deteriorate as time goes on. That's another thing. Other than 
guess they must have changed because their option is there. And we've got God knows what. If we try placing it, it doesn't seem to be anything. Can't place it on top of roads. But let's see if I place it, um, well, anywhere here. And then if I'm able to build a road over it. Seems like I am. So just an invisible thing that I'm placing. So it says cheats over here. I guess that's what they are. And we've also got a bit of a gambling den. I'm not really sure why that's here. Let's check out the gambling house. Let's go over to uh, gambling over here. Gambling house. They seem exactly the same. Yeah, they most definitely are exactly the same. So that's the same. Of course, sandbox mode is quite cool because you don't really need to work too hard to unlock anything. Let's go back over here though. So that's just plain Jane. We've already checked out all these things. Nothing over here. Nothing over here as well. Although it'd be cool if we could change the texture or color it. Now we've got UFOs. Strike saucer. Although we can't really bring it out over here. Let's go back to disasters. Oh really? You don't have everything unlocked right away in sandbox mode either? So we don't even know what they are, but that's a zombie outbreak, laboratory outbreak. Blown in the winds. I'm guessing that's another hurricane, or tornado, whatever. Uh, big lizards, we've already seen them. We are not alone. So I guess the, those are the achievements. Or the uh, aliens, sorry. And what goes up? Maybe that's another spacefaring one. That's with the disasters. So what they say here? No, nothing. So here is when it gets really interesting and exciting. Now we've got a uh, city marker box. So it seems like what we have to do is create a, a normal city size at the plop location will automatically snap to regional grid. So what if I go ahead and place a city region, I don't know, right around here. On this mountain there. As it rains. Now let's head over to region view. Will I be able to click here? No, I won't. So I guess that doesn't work. You do have to appreciate the name that I've named the region though. Gotta give him credit for that. So it doesn't seem to work at all like that. Oh well. But as we build on, we can go ahead and build a region city freeway. That's an attachment marker. It's another attachment marker. We don't want them. Great work site, map handling. These are all debug tools that we have no idea what to do, build or do. But we can also build regional freeways. I haven't figured out how we can uh, switch it or maneuver them about. But it's still pretty cool that we can build them even on our own uh, city here as well. There don't seem to be any people that seem to be coming to and fro or spawning around here. And then we've got a region airspace exit. So I guess planes will exit from that direction. But then we have other tabs, and this is where it gets really exciting. So we can build regional freeways. It lags up a little bit once we click that. Uh, because, as you can see where the uh, cursor is, it doesn't exactly line up. It's a bit weird. Uh, but we can extend the regional highways and just connect them up. How cool is that? It is a bit glitchy, but... <laughs> I think that's just ridiculously amazing. Let's uh, connect a road from here to here. And now we'll have cars, if they so choose, that will come around here. If anyone wants to come around. Nope. What if I extend it around this way? Well, what I've went ahead and done uh, previously is I did see some cars just... There we go. There's one randomly... Moving in, and he's going to come into my city. So it seems like he can get rid of uh, these problems. So the graphics are glitched up. He can get rid of the congestion problems with the traffic of everyone just coming into one uh, one road. So that's pretty good. Original waterways, I don't seem to be able to change them. They seem to operate like roads. They don't seem to be changing anything. I go over to the region view or just even in my city. Regional coastlines. Nope. Although the sun has just moved. And we can, of course, 
put in some railways. I'm pretty sure this is connected to rail. Nope. I guess I was wrong on that one. But of course, we can place our own rail in and outside the city. And we can place regional dirt roads, which should then place them up around here. There will be some cars that do decide to come up around here. Another interesting feature is because we're on the outskirts, we still have these uh, lines telling us or giving us hints of where to be able to place all these roads. And there are cars that can come up and drive around here. So that's about it for that tab. And I think that's about it for the rest of the debugging tools. I'm very much looking forward to what other things people can build and uh, create from all these source files that have been leaked that people have found out about. Uh, another neat little thing is that some people, although the code hasn't been released publicly, is that you can go ahead and go over into other people's cities in your region or just visit a city in a region and you can actually spoof the player themselves and there doesn't seem to be any server side checks so what that means you could do is just go ahead and demolish all the buildings that the player has created and uh, the game will think that you are the actual legitimate player but you're just pretty much a uh, an impersonator which is quite ridiculous that they haven't uh, done anything to stop that but of course, it is promising times, promising days. This was just a brief overview of what is possible. I look forward to, in the coming days, more upgrades to be coming online. Let's keep on experimenting with these. It's regional freeways. That's all nice and dandy. We've already experimented with them. This public uh, work seems really exciting, though. Doesn't seem like anyone wants to work around here. So... I guess that doesn't work. Um, is, that, is that like power or something? Some generators? I guess this is just a building that they decided to let go of. Hmm. Alright, well, that's going to be it for this episode. It wasn't really a Let's Play episode, but just a little bit of a fun uh, look about at what we can do and build and... Uh, they can have people, and uh, you can create uh, multiple, well, ways for people to come into your city, which I think should have really been in the uh, main game. Let's go ahead and maybe make something a little bit more exceptional, really. Maybe a bit from here. I say can't build bridges. Okay. So what we'll have to do is extend this like that, and then we'll just go back to the original game. And build a bridge from here. You know what? Let's try that. Okay. No, they seem to be ignoring that. Although you never know with the AI because the traffic AI just follows the uh, shortest path. Another funny thing is that. Uh, the sims don't really live in the same house every day so it makes completely no sense for the houses to be named after a person like Ortiz residence or Schmidt's residence because it's different sims that come to the house every day and what the sims do is they go to the closest house and that's where they rest for the night so they go to this house if it's full they go to the next one if it's full they go to the next one Pretty basic coding, really. I really wouldn't call it AI. It's just, uh, well, extremely basic, I guess, high school equivalents of coding. I mean, I don't think it'd be too hard to code. Uh, check your full and then go to the next one. Although I've forgotten all my coding skills because I didn't really pay attention to software classes in high school. But nevertheless, I'm blabbering on. I'll see you guys later for another episode of some SimCity rather soon.